So every other person around the world did the Bob Daddy challenge, but here in Nigeria, this set of women did the challenge, you know, and just because of the position they hold at the place of work, it landed them into trouble. Amazing. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So let's take a moment to talk about what's going on with these ladies, okay? I believe that when False the Bad Guy brought out this Bob Daddy song and then created a challenge out of it, I believe he just made it for fun. I believe he made it, you know, so that people can just have fun, you know, not think too much about it, just have fun and bring out their alter egos and just have fun about it as I have said. You know, but then I didn't not think or I know he did not think that it would actually get a lot of people in trouble you know so um, he brought out the Bob Daddy challenge a lot of people got into it you know top people you know everyday people adults kids they got into the challenge it was really really fun you know if you go online you know even on YouTube you find so many videos of lots and lots of people families you know doing it and some of them are so adorable because some of them are from kids and you totally totally gush over most of these videos when you watch them you know I've seen videos from um, ladies from the US Marine I've seen videos of doctors from the US I've seen videos from even the um, Emirates air hostess I've seen um, videos from so many people from different walks of life and it's really amazing how one particular song can actually break down all diversity you know of cultures beliefs religions and stuff and people just come out of their heads and then for once in their entire lives have a lot of fun with just one song from a nigerian music artist you know i find it so amazing and really really intriguing but now to burst all those bubbles that i have over the amazing deed that falls the bad guy has done <laughs> our fellow nigerian immigration service people they decided to get too much in their feelings and overreact over it okay so this group of ladies they are from the nigerian immigration service in fact i must say that i am really really amazed that we have this set of beautiful ladies working in the nigerian immigration service now no offense to anybody no offense to anybody's um anybody's father or mother or aunt or uncle or whatever but i remember back then when my mom used to travel to kotonu to buy bed sheets to buy clothes and wears curtains to come and sell in lagos right so um she always come back bearing tales of how mean how wicked the, immig the immigration officers at the borders are you know they were always fond of seizing people's goods and blah 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 you know they will take the goods and everything if they ask you for bribe you cannot give them they will seize your goods and every other thing like that you know i remember the last um trade trip my mom went for um she went with she collected money I think it was her pensions or whatever from where she was working and then she carried all that money and went to the market to go and buy goods to come and sell for the Christmas period. Guess what? That was about eight, seven years ago and my mom carried about 300,000 naira to the market. Guys, that was how they seized everything. She came back, she was depressed, she was sick and everything. But that's just story for another day, guys. Um, I'm just trying to paint a picture of the knowledge that I have of the immigration service in Nigeria. You know, whenever anybody talks about immigration service, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. All these people are mean and all of that. You know, so when that picture comes to my mind, I am always thinking about old people, very elderly people who are very mean, who don't have any joy, who don't have any laughter in them anymore, you know. But then when I saw these ladies do the Bob Daly challenge immediately all of that misconception in my mind about the Nigerian immigration service it turned it just wiped off because in my head I started asking myself questions like oh my god so we actually have young fresh minds like this in the immigration service you know I was really really amazed like guys it took me on unawares I did not expect to see young ladies like me about my age you know you know proudly flaunting their uniforms you know proudly showing to the world out there that hey nigerian immigration service is not what you think we actually know how to have fun over here as well and we actually know how 
to be beautiful we actually have young fresh minds in the nigerian immigration service you know so somehow when i saw this video that you're going to watch right now for me it wasn't just a Bob daddy challenge that i saw it was a video that came to break all the norms all the misconceptions in my mind that i already have about the nigerian immigration service you know it was a video that came out to clearly announce to me especially that hey glory young people fresh minds are also in the nigerian immigration service that hey nigerian immigration service it's not all about sad people. It's not all about people that are cute joys, you know. It just gave me a different perspective, a fresh perspective entirely of the Nigerian Immigration Service, you know. And I was really, really excited. I had already seen um, videos of the Bob Daddy Challenge from um, ladies from the US Marine. And I was really, really proud of them, you know. And in my head, when I saw this one from Nigerian women also wearing uniform, my respect for them, it just doubled you know my respect for the nigerian immigration service you know it's sort of doubled because trust me if you are nigerian and you live in nigeria and you have parents or you have friends or you yourself are into business if you uh, you must have heard of people's encounters with the nigerian immigration service and i'm sure that one or two of you watching this video right now out there you share the same misconception or opinion that i used to have about the nigerian immigration service so that said I watched this video and it just gave me a lot of joy to watch. Um, anyways, guys, just watch the video first of all and then I will go into what I have to say that is currently going on with these ladies. So the first time that video came out, it went viral online. People were amazed. People were thrilled. People were happy. Like, oh my god, these ladies are so cute. These these ladies are so beautiful and all of that, you know. But then, their bosses were not happy. I mean, their bosses were not just happy bunnies at all. They were just really, really upset. And then they brought out this um, circular that was um, reprimanding the ladies, saying that they should not do this, blah, blah, blah. They were exposing their bodies. They should have covered their bodies and all whatnot. And then the first question I was asking myself was that, hey, come on, is the Nigerian Immigration Service a Muslim body? Is it a Muslim or an Islamic organization that does not allow the women to actually expose certain parts of their bodies like that on social media? Or is it that um it's part of their um code of conduct not to engage in social activities like this you know those are the questions i was asking in my head but then i tried to just let it slide and guys lo and behold yesterday i saw this news circulating online and i also got that information as well from sahara reporters that these ladies are finally been punished they weren't just reprimanded way way back in march or february i think march when that, that when they did that video they have been finally punished and guess what their punishment is guys like it's so even disgusting to even talk about it's so annoying to talk about um this is the circulation guys that as you can see these ladies have been redeployed from the cities where they are currently working to far far cities inside the north guys like this is so ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous okay let's give the 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 nigerian immigration service the benefit of doubt that it is against their code of conduct for these for any of them any of their staff or any of their officers to actually engage in social um should i say social activities or social fun as i will call it or in anything that has to do with um 
showcasing their uniforms online i don't even understand guys look i understand that a lot of organizations they have their workers employee manual they have their codes of conduct they have their ethics like um there was this place i was working for right um you will see that in your contract they will clearly state there that smoking is not allowed in the um, office building you know but i've been to a lot of secretariats in lagos a lot of local government secretariats and i've seen a lot of workers you know when it's their lunch break they will smoke so that just told me that okay it's actually different strokes for different folks you know but what i don't understand is did these ladies actually kill somebody the Bob Daddy Challenge video that they put out, did it actually disrupt the activities of the Nigerian Immigration Service? The Bob Daddy Challenge video that they put out, is it the cause of the coronavirus pandemic that the world is suffering today? What I don't get is, is it that the video that they put out, did it sort of destroy the, the, the image of the Nigerian Immigration Service? Did it sort of kill somebody? Did it destroy somebody's future? Did it destroy somebody's generation? I don't understand. I mean... If they wanted to be punished, there could have been other means of punishing them, but redeploying them to the far, 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 far parts of the north, that is what I don't understand. And then look at that one that was actually, you know, um, redeployed to Borno State. Guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. It is so shady. It is so, it is so shady. And it's making me ask a lot of questions like, come i feel like there's just a lot more to this redeployment to this ridiculous punishment more than just a video no people are arguing that oh let's not be too hasty to judge maybe in their organization they have the code of conduct that they should not wear their uniform and do anything that's harmful to the organization i'm like okay harmful to the organization what about <sighs> calm down glory breathe seriously guys I just decided to just rant about it this morning. Let me know what you guys think. Um, please drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. Drop your your opinion. I just really want to know what you guys think. And hey, if you are someone, or if you, if you have someone, or if you work in the Nigerian Immigration Service, I would really, really not love to know your perspective on this matter. Please drop a clear explanation of what is going on with the with the nigerian immigration side because honestly i do not understand where this sort of energy is coming from i feel like the punishment meted out to these ladies is just too extreme you know sending them to yobe borno you know within 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 the north i know i mean i just feel like oh because they did a video that showed them wearing mufti it's like they're sending them way 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 into the north so that they will go and be wearing things that will cover their body 100 percent come on like that's way too extreme anyways i've said my piece guys please if you know anybody that works in the nigerian immigration service i would like to hear another perspective to this particular punishment or if you have knowledge about the workings of the um, nigerian immigration service please drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below i would love to read from you and um, that said that's all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to become a part of the family and also don't forget to turn on post notifications to get alerts of my videos like this i will see you guys in my next video do have an amazing amazing day bye